I began working with patients that have um, familial hypercholesterolemia several years ago when I saw that this genetic disease affects one in 250 people and less than 10% knew that they had the condition. I just knew that something had to be done um, and that I had the background to potentially help in that way. So most people think that high cholesterol is associated with your diet or a lack of exercise. And what we know in FH is that's not the case. It's due to genetics and their genes. So in Minnesota, when we talk about um, kind of what happens in familial hypercholesterolemia when we think about the genetics, we use the analogy of snowplows. And um, when it snows, um, the plows come through and they get rid of the snow that's slowly accumulating. So if we think about that in the arteries in our body, so where your blood goes in and out, um, cholesterol kind of falls like snow on the lining of those arteries and it can start to build up over time. So we have different proteins in our body that get rid of that cholesterol. They pull it down, they get it rid of, out like the snow plows. And so for some of us, we have a lot of snow plows and we can get rid of that and we can clear that very quickly. But in other people, if they don't have as many snow plows, like in familial hypercholesterolemia, they can only get rid of some of it. So it builds and it builds over time. And that snow can start to accumulate even at a young age, so even in children. And um, so what we, you know, by giving people drugs or, you know, lifestyle changes, we hope to increase the number of snow plows and be able to um, help them get rid of that snow or cholesterol like everyone else. So it's really important that if someone's trying really hard to, you know, eat well and diet and they're still not able to control their cholesterol, um, that this might be a conversation to talk about is, you know, could it be FH? Could there be something going on? When we know that there's a family history of FH, we know that 50% of the family members are going to also be affected. And from just looking at the family members, we can't tell who is that person that has FH and who doesn't. And so there's a variety of different ways to figure that out. You know, we can look at cholesterol levels, you can think about genetic testing, and you know, it's really an investigation within the entire family to figure out who has it. When I'm talking to a parent of a child who has FH, for them to know that they might have not known this information and that their risk is still slightly increased for heart disease, but to know that they can prevent that in their child and they can take steps, um, that's, pretty, that's pretty significant. And um, so to, to have those moments in genetics is rare and um, that we can actually do something and that we can help families take this information and make changes so that what has happened in their histories um, doesn't have to happen again in the future.